it's hard to believe that an exceptional intellectual power is accumulated in this small room with thousands of wires. Only here can millions of numbers and processing functions make hopes and incredible dreams of engineers real. The supercomputer Sergei Korolev helps the city of Samara to develop a unique experience in aircraft construction and rocket production. There is no other computer of this capacity in Samara Oblast. It is set to solve problems related to aircraft and aero engine construction and also aerospace machinery engineering. It is in the golden top 100 of supercomputers of all CIS countries. And it's here, in Samara, available for visitors. Even today, a group of students sacrifice their lectures to see the 21st century super techniques. Supercomputer can be used in a wide range of areas, in creation of new medical products, in Metcast, and creation of advanced techniques. Now imagine. You need at least 20 specialists from different areas to create one unit of a rocket engine. With assistance, it can reach up to 30 additional employees. Their salaries and testing need huge financial resources. Creation of a new engine takes an eight-year cycle, starting from a draft. The modern supercomputers and software packages allow modeling of an engine in just two to three years. It's four to five times faster. Supercomputer makes complex operations which need 50 normal computers, on average, to accomplish. We don't use supercomputer at the maximum capacity. We increase it steadily, depending on the volume of tasks. And currently, the supercomputer is used at its average capacity of 40 to 60 percent. The excursion is almost finished and the guests are leaving full of new ideas. The supercomputer helped them to understand that everything is possible and that progress is unlimited. I could hardly imagine how powerful a 500 megabyte hard disk would be. And now we are speaking about terabytes. And I can only admire this power. It's an amazing power that inspires us. As Sergei Korolev once proved, nothing is impossible. The supercomputer named after him proves the same. The most incredible dreams can come true, and it's available today, in our city, in our university.